How's it going guys, Devin Dog. Today I'm going to show you how to download Windows 3.1 into, or yeah, how to download that in VirtualBox. Now, or VMware. So I'll, so here's VirtualBox. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, only do the, only do the download for VirtualBox since I never have VMware. I just know it could, it could work on VMware. I'm just gonna use VirtualBox because I could really, like I had some trouble um, finding the download. Don't judge me. Anyways, um, so what you want to do is that you want to make a new in name and operating system and create virtual machine, and it'll be at all the way at the bottom, 3.1. Um, then you want to put to the uh, then you want to put in the name just whatever you want like. And yeah, so it recommends this much, but I'm just gonna add a little, just in case. So yeah, so if a computer like this is um good for like your computer at low space, cause um the downloads will be in the description. Um, but there will be a password because um like the just just because. Um, but the password is, um, hold up. Um, the password, it will be in a win WinRAR, so you need to get a WinRAR to be able to get all this stuff. Um, and yeah, so... You have these, so the password is youtube.com slash everything epan. Um, give credit to him because that's where I just, just give credit to him. Um, if you do, then thank you. If you don't, then just, 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 anyways, um, give big credit to him. Um, but what you want to do is that you want to copy it and just keep that for later. And then, like, you want to download the password in the description, uh, virtual box in the description, if you don't have it. Um, I have the Windows set up right here. You have the MS -D um, DOS, or MS -DOS um, set up, and Windows 3.1 set up. Um, so you'll get these. Um, what you want to do is that you want to... Uh, so what you want to do is that you want to, um, like, d you'll see, um, the MS do um, DOS, uh, in the description, and, um, like a link to that, then a link to the Windows 3.1, um, so, which has seven disks, um, but they're really floppy disks, it, um, there will be also another thing in the, um, MS, um, D DOS, um, there will be these, um, so yeah, if you need those, then, or well, if you need the, um, driver commands, then there you go. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to go to settings, you go to storage, and you don't want, um, well, um, some of the things you, um, they want to do is that a disk um, like a disc, you don't do that, um, even though they are called discs, you don't do that, they're really, um, like, this is a floppy disk, so, you need to do a floppy disk, because back then, discs weren't invented, I think, I don't know, I'm not good with history, um, then you want to click that, and then go to choose, like, for a folder, unless if you already have it in there, um, which, I don't know why, so you want to click that, and then you don't use the CD-ROM, but you want to do disk one setup, 1.44 meg um megabytes. I think I don't know. I'm 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 just dumb. Anyways, you double click that, then that happens. You click OK. Should take a little bit to load, or just might just load instantly. 
and then you want to click start. Now it doesn't mean that we already have it downloaded and we just need a little floppy disk in. No, that's not it. We have to put in a bunch of floppy drives, so. It's all about using floppy disks. So it's Microsoft MS-DOS um, 6.22 setup. So um, you can just click enter, enter, and um, it'll say setup will restart your computer now. Please make sure your sure setup disk number number one is in drive A. To continue, press enter, and it of course it's not going to reset your restart your computer. Remember, it it thinks it's a computer, like this whole thing is a computer. But this whole thing is computer. This is like way back then. 2.1. Yes, before before 95. Okay, it was. When they didn't have internet, okay? If you don't believe me. Before they have internet. But you'll see because there is no internet in this. But this is just the uh, MS DOS. Um, there we go. So um, you can like change this if you want. But I'm just gonna say they're correct because like it's only one minute early. That's all. So you can just click enter, and then it'll be like blah blah blah, and just click enter. Then this is the part when you get to change the floppy disks. So what you want to do is I want to right click the floppy disk, choose the image of, or choose floppy disk image and all that. Then it'll pop up. And then you want to get disk 2 for the MS um, DOS. Then click enter. And then it'll be like, um, do you want like put in it um, number three? So then you get number three. Then you press enter. Then it says remove um disks from all floppy drives, and then press enter. So you just pretty much just turn off the floppy drive. You know, then you're done. MS DOS setup complete. MS DOS 6.22 um, is now installed on your computer. So, yeah. Sorry, I was going to see um, like what the noise was because it looked like sound like a plane going loop to loop. Anyways, so I'll just say it's done. Installed. Restart your computer. Um, like press enter so whenever you're ready just press enter to it uh, restart if you need to go to the bathroom then just just do that and then restart if you need to go eat breakfast do that and restart or if you need to eat lunch or dinner do that and then restart it well actually no just just restart it and you know other stuff um so then i'll just be to learn more about new ms dos 6.22 features type features type help what what's new um at the command prompt so anyways let's just press enter okay so when you get to this part um what you want to do is that you want to put a then colon and then when you press enter wait what
Okay. Um. Um. Okay, so what you guys do is that you gotta go to the floppy disk. Choose disk image. Go to the Windows like setup. Well, like I made that. There would just be a bunch of disks. I suggest you keep it organized. Go to the Windows 3.1. Put in disk number one. Then click retry, and then it'll do this. Then you just put setup. Then it'll just do this blue screen type thing. It'll be Windows setup. Welcome to setup. The setup will program for Windows 3.1 prepares liftoff to run your com on your computer. On your computer. Or wait. I don't know. Um, to learn more about Windows setup before continuing, press F1. To set up Windows now, press enter. To quit Windows setup without uninstalling Windows, press three, F3. Just press enter. Um, and then it'll just be all this, just press enter. Then it'll do this, and then it'll say, put disk 2 in when you're ready. Or, and then press enter when you're ready. So then you put in disk 2. Then it'll be, put in disk 3. Then press enter. So then it'll go to this Windows setup type thing. And yeah. So um you can put in your name, which my name is gonna put um I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna put um There. Actually, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna put it. You know what I'm gonna put? This has been a big hit. Literally, every time, every, like, you saw this everywhere you were looking at the school. And it has annoyed me. Until. until oh yeah I woke up like a little bit ago that's why I didn't want to have that off because <coughs> I always look like a hobo when I wake up. I don't know. I feel like I woke up in the trash, but anyways, um, or it looks like the company, um, um, you just put whatever, uh, and it'll just be verified, blah, 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 just click continue. Then I'll just, you know, going through the things, and it'll be like, put in, put in at disk four. Get disk four. Then you click continue. And it says put in at disk five. And I'll say put in disk six. And pretty much you're done on the disk seven. I don't know, but for this, um just click cancel unless if you like want or unless if you have one, which I don't think anyone will have an Apple laser right here. But anyways, just click cancel that. And a bunch of things will happen. Then 
Oh, I just have this. Um, it'll just be like blah blah blah. Oh, I guess you just click OK. Then I'll be set up. Can now run a short tutorial um, on how to use Windows and the mouse, which I think everybody knows since this is Windows 8 right now. Um, I might want to move the camera. I don't even know where the camera is. Oh, here it is. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah. Then you'll just do skip tutorial. Um, you can run it if you want, but just skip the tutorial I'll do. Then I'll just say Windows 3.1 is now se is now set up. <laughs> um, get it? Um, remove any floppy disks from your drive. So that means uh, gosh, so that means go into the floppy drive um, and remove the disk. So yeah, then I'll just be. Windows 3.1 is now, um, I mean, yeah. So you need to restart your computer so that all installed installed option takes effect. After restarting, type win at that MS um, DOS prompt to start Windows. So you can just click, so you can just click reboot. When you click win, I'll show Microsoft Windows 3.1 and then it'll come here. So and then it's done. It's simple and yeah. Um, so you can do whatever you want clipboard viewer, print manager, control panel, uh, a readme, which is for like, you know, Windows. Yeah, you can you can delete it. So yeah, once it's done, then you're finished. So yep, I don't know what else to say, but I mean you can um, move it like original. You can go to games. It only has two games, sadly. Has Solitaire and Minesweeper. Minesweeper has been through like the whole like entire like I feel like it's been through the whole entire Windows thing. But my um uh, yeah. I was zero. Dang it. Okay, now I know it's going to be in the middle, so. Ah. 
Come on, face, you can say it. Uh, subscribe on the Diamond Dogs channel. And like and leave a comment for a different installation of the virtual box and which one he should do and what game he should do next because he's sort of running out of ideas actually that is sort of true I am running out of ideas guys um I just do not want to do next um I mean I'm, I'm just like running out of ideas um I just feel like I'm just about to lose this channel like um and all that but the only thing it is left to do is just to maybe just stop doing stuff for the channel. But that doesn't mean you should um, unsubscribe. I mean, I still might do some progress into this video. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, um, I am sort of running out of ideas. But when I run out of ideas, the next thing I should do is just make another, make an, make another channel um for myself which is the phantom dog i might do that someday but since someone took my idea and i'm actually pretty mad at them um so yeah yeah i i hate them hey be nice be nice okay they're okay but they're full ponies i don't like it me either but anyways um Never happened. Well, um, so yeah. Subscribe and like if you liked it and you wanna get the latest info and if you, and if you hadn't subscribed. Um, comment down below for um, some ideas. Thank you very much. Make America great again. Wait, what? You're Donald Trump? Ah. Uh, no.